This video slash stream is sponsored by Trader Central. Trader Central provides funding for traders, spot cryptocurrency exchange services, and access to trading tools like copy trade software, portfolio tracking, and a social platform exclusive for communicating with trader friends. Sign up now using the link in the description and get up to 30% off on your first plan. Yo, 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 what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Fusi Max. Welcome back to we'll see Max in the building you know what i'm saying so before you go into today's video let's do one thing go like comment subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any future drops uh yeah so today's a monday for me i wanna i want us to have a brief analysis of the market let's look at what we can see and stuff like that you feel me so, so yeah we're gonna go to our charts right there you feel me uh yeah as i'm filming this we're in i'm experiencing load shading you understand i'm experiencing load shedding so i'm just like i might as well just make a video for y'all man we just hit 30k in the building you niggas are too 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 much like it's too much with it 30k subscribers i don't know how i feel about it it's too much but yeah i guess i have to I think i have to keep the content coming because clearly clearly you love it understand so i can't disappoint so yeah we analyzed the market um the last analysis video i dropped i think it was on thursday and we talked about what happened up there right so if you weren't or if you didn't watch friday's video i'm just gonna give you a brief summary of what we discussed right so you can see this this uh, vertical line right on the left hand chart on the left hand side of the chart this is okay sharp also on the left hand side of the chart this is a down this is an uptrend right and this this uptrend started after the pandemic because as you can see here it was 17th of march 2020 after the market was after the market was crashing this whole thing this whole period day right so we had a nice bull run nice bull run nice bull run until uh 24th of november 2021 that's where everything started to get messed up now you understand so from the right hand side now this is the first down downtrend since the 17th of march is the 2020 so for over probably like two years now or one and a half years or whatever two years close to two years we we're only in the uptrend and then now this is our first like downtrend ever since then so this is important for you to know especially if you just started trading the nice 100 and indices now because i'm sure suddenly you surprised you don't understand why the market is so difficult to trade right now you understand so this is one of the most like this is one of the most uh key reasons of as to why everyone's results are being affected now because it's a, it's a we're in a downtrend and this is diff very difficult to make money in such a market that we don't have any previous data to analyze you understand so the thing is uh i want us to analyze what's going on on the, on the right hand side of the chart isn't it i already told you what's going on or what happened on the left hand side so i want to i want us to discuss what's going on on the right hand side so we have a descending channel as you can see this is our trend line at the top trend line at the bottom and i'm also thinking of making a video on how to draw like proper trend lines because some of the things you'll be sending me man it's not making sense bro. so i think i'm gonna make a video on how to draw proper trend lines that's if you guys want it just let me know in the comment section if you want it but yeah it's most probably coming that one understand also for the members i want to make that one for the members more especially you understand so this is our trend line we have our trend line at the top trend line at the bottom and then we have this trend line here also right all of these trend lines might look like you know what i'm saying this is trend lines what what but each and every trend line has a specific reason as to why it's there right so this trend line at the bottom that you see every time the market comes to this trend line it's a signal for us to do what to buy right so this is our buying trend line this trend line that you're seeing here this is our buying trend line so if the market comes here what do you do you buy right the market comes here you buy and the thing is we're still looking for buys in and it, it's a downtrend we spoke about this but yeah we still look for for buys even though it's a downtrend this thing of only going with the trend 
doesn't work because this is on the daily time frame so on the h4 and lower time frames this would have traveled for quite some time you understand also here right so let me just clone this one so we can have two of these because i want to show you guys what's also what's going on with this one now uh -huh. so this trend line here at the top this is our selling zone right this is a so th think of this trend lines as, as zones the one at the top is for buying the one at the bottom is for selling so no the one at the top is for selling the one at the bottom is for buying right so if the market comes here you know this is the time to start selling right so needless to say when the market goes up when you get to a buying zone and when you get to a selling zone it's not the same right so when you go to this buying zone you see the market went up for a couple of days and then it dropped again back to test this level right but when it's time to sell do you notice how the market just takes off like so sales are way more powerful than buys basically so when it's time to sell you're gonna make the most money in this market that's if you can find areas to sell this thing so we had our buying zone here and another buying zone there okay sharp but then now where we at there's this trend line also right so i think this trend line basically is a selling zone right it's a selling zone in the sense that unless the, the, the market breaks out of this zone and then it's gonna go to somewhere either this zone or the trend line then we can sell again but for now it's either depending on how the candlestick can close it's either we're gonna start selling again or if we close bullish then we have to look to start buying again you understand so maybe if i take it to 240 time frame uh which is the h4 we can see what's kind of going on with this trend line now i understand uh so guys i hope you understood the, the last slide because i don't want to look at the overall structure because if i look at the overall structure i won't be able to explain this structure so you see this trend line we started it all the way up there on the 5th of april 2022 we joined it here with this candlestick weeks one two three that's the, those are the areas the trend line was tested and you see we made a nice drop came back to test again the trend line at the bottom which we just talked about it and the market it was started having a bull run so now we broke out and then it seems like we're testing from above maybe if we can if the next h4 candlestick can close bullish i think this thing is gonna start going up but it depends if we close below the trend line then we're gonna have to sell but if we close above then we're gonna have to think we're gonna have to start buying you understand so i know the market is it, it, it looks very tricky guys but you just need to apply apply yourself and keep practicing i don't think it's necessary for me to go to h h1 in 13 minutes and all those things the best the better structure it's on the daily time frame from the daily time frame if you can just uh, make a make it important for you to understand the daily time frame structure then when you go to the h4 it's going to be way better to start applying um the strategy there on the smaller time frames but if you don't understand the thing if you don't understand the smaller time the, the daily time frame structure then you're not gonna do anything on the smaller time frames you yeah, feel me so it's your boy vc max you understand um i want to make so many videos but hopefully i will make more videos for you provided we get the time because the market is the market needs needs us to be very full hands on right now you understand so go subscribe to a public telegram i'm gonna send the analysis to the public telegram so you don't think you don't have to analyze off the top of your head i'm gonna send the daily structure there the h4 if it looks good i'm gonna send it but if it doesn't if it looks a little bit sketchy i'm not gonna send it because the daily is the one that you need the most you understand so it's a boy, boy i'll see you guys on the next one peace out